learn about the Stoic philosophers, Marcus Aurelius. Marcus Aurelius was the last of the five so-called good emperors, which is fitting for a leader who tried to live virtuously. Marcus Aurelius is more familiar to many for his Stoic philosophical writing known as than his accomplishments as Roman Emperor. Ironically, this virtuous emperor was the father of a son known for his impropriety, Emperor Commodus, Zeno of Citium. None of the writing of the probably Phoenician Zene of Citium on Cyprus. The founder of Stoic Cism remains all the quotations about him are contained in Book 7 of Diogenes Laertius. Followers of Zeno were at first called Zenonians. Christopher succeeded founder Clinthus as the head of Stoic School of Philosophy. He applied logic to Stoic positions, making them more sound. Cato the Younger Cato, the ethical statesman who vehemently opposed Julius Caesar and was trusted for integrity, was a Stoic. Pliny the Younger A Roman statesman and a letter writer, Pliny the Younger admits that he is not a Stoic enough to be merely content with the consciousness of having done his duty. Epictetus. Epictetus was born a slave in Phrygia, but came to Rome. Eventually, he won his freedom from his crippling, abusive master and left Rome. As a stoic, Epictetus thought man should be concerned solely with will which alone he can control. External events are beyond such control. Seneca. Lucius Aeneas Seneca, known as Seneca or Seneca the Younger, studied Stoic philosophy mixed with Neo-Pythagoreanism. His philosophy is best known from his letters to Lucilius and his dialogues.